We are back with episode two out of the three part series concerning the complete course outline at Dnipro Medical Institute. Hope you guys enjoy and let's get into it. So now we've spoken a bit about the groups. The next topic is resource management. And I'm definitely told by my friends who have been here since the first year that the university has very much improved in terms of their resource management, handing out these materials and the general organization. Of course, there are hiccups here and there. It is a bit disorganized and you have to be very adaptable and on your toes in terms of searching for the resources, finding extra resources here and there on the internet. But you wouldn't be a good doctor if you weren't adaptable now. So as I've said previously, the bulk of your resources are handed down from the teachers to your group leader and dispersed that way. But now they have a functioning online portal that I'll be displaying on the screen right about now. And this contains all of your modules, all of your information, all of your handbooks and protocol books, uh, all of your practice questions that you could do, any extra resources that you can find, videos here and there, the general shebang. Other resources that they've started to master using is a Google Classroom. Uh, they have specifically, I think, for paediatrics, uh, radiology and imaging. Um, oh, I can't remember, but I think they have a few. Um, and again, here they'll be posting your assignments, notifications, resources. And an example of a fantastic module's use of these resources is pharmacology. And I've definitely found that they have really stepped up to the pennant in delivering a very, very, very good teaching quality and the amount of learning that we are doing for quite a difficult module. However, again, it's not all good news because in terms of UK medical schools and just UK universities in general, it's very centralised back in the UK, very easy to access and very easy to navigate through. However, here you have to do quite a bit of digging here and there, find it yourself essentially, and sometimes bug the lecturers and your group leaders to send a few extra here resources here and there. So again, it isn't perfect as if you were studying in a UK medical school, but you do have to adapt. And that is going to be the key theme throughout this video and throughout studying here is you have to adapt. You are in a foreign country. You are studying from their medical schools. But just another quick tip and saying on that, the best thing about this is they try to model it as best they can to the UK medical system. And I feel like the English students and the UK students do get the best level of teaching um, compared to the other international students. But again, that is hearsay. That is my opinion. Please do not shoot me. But again, that does make it a lot easier for us in terms of relatability to content back in the UK. So other resources they might give you are YouTube videos, osmosis videos and lectures that they've made themselves. And just to quickly, quickly touch on that, they don't like to hand out the raw PowerPoints or raw lecture recordings that they do. And in terms of lecture capture and lecture recordings, it's non-existent here. So if you do record a lecture, it's very, it's not recommended and they tell you not to record lectures and I'm not going to condone recording lectures because A, I've written it on the script and they tell you not to, but if you do record lectures, keep it on the down low and you do you, I'm not telling you to do anything, but it makes it easier for you, go for it, go for it, you know. And just on recording lectures, a lot of you guys that have MacBooks know how to record lectures. Um, but you guys that don't have uh, Apple, and obviously I'm not an Apple person, and I'm not going to get into that argument now. <laughs> but if you don't have Apple, you can use something called OBS, or Open Broadcasting Software. Uh, and I will do a small demonstration at the end of this on how to use it in terms of display capture, window capture, you know, yeah. 
So that was the majority of things to say on the resource management. So if we look at home tasks, as they call it, which is homework and extra work, they give them to you uh, at the end of each practical uh, or at the end of each lecture, even you're expected to go home in your own free time, consolidate your learning uh, and come back with essays or um, answered questions or questions. I guess the best thing of having done a degree before is you know how to research properly, cite things properly uh, and use the use the absolute gold standard and complete crutch that is PubMed. All praises due to PubMed, glory due to PubMed, amazing resource, Science Direct, Elsevier, move to the side, PubMed is the one. <laughs> So the next topic is revision and time management. I've already spoken to you about how little time there is outside of lectures on top of the fact that you have to do the extra minimum of four hours to consolidate your learning. But if you're struggling to find the university resources being any help for you, there are extra resources out there that I've used myself and I do have an affiliate link, so this is me shilling myself a little bit. And the main resource that I use to supplement my learning, and it's very, very, very good. You don't have to get it, you can get by absolutely well without it. But it is very good in terms of extra information, just understanding everything because it's very concise. And that is Med Student Notes. So I'll just bring it up on screen some of the things they do. It is very, very, very good and very simplified to use. Um, I use it a lot in terms of surgery, hematology, etc., etc. You do not have to get it. You can get by completely without it, but it does help. Well, it does help me at least. So I've got an affiliate code and it is Ali's Media. It's coming up on screen now. And if you use that, you'll get 15% off. It comes with videos, it comes with concise notes, and I think it starts at about 65 quid, but I think if you, or I don't know, something around that part. But if you use the code, you get it to around about 50 quid, 45 quid, something like that. I've, it's, been, it's been a while since I've used it. But yeah, definitely helps, and I'll do a full review in another video. Right, let's get on. But yeah, see you guys in the next one. Have a good one.